Hey, welcome back to the next part. Uh, it's probably going to be the last part of this series for building the tunnel. And what we're going to do in this part is we're going to take care of these tunnel portals here and these, these wing walls. We're going to get those all painted up nice. Uh, and then we're going to ground cover all of this brown so that it matches so that it matches the rest of this mountain. So here we go. Let's get this done. What I've got to do that with is I have this can of latex, small can of latex paint. I don't know if you can see this or not. It's one of those tester cups you get at Home Depot for like four bucks. And what I did was when I had the Woodland Scenics concrete color I had bought and I ran out so I took a sample of it to Home Depot and they scanned it and they mixed this color cup to match that color and it does a pretty good job for four bucks it's cheaper than Woodland Scenics so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint this whole thing with this paint now we don't have to worry too much about it uh, getting places we don't want it we can always touch that and fix it that'll, that'll get covered in the with the ground cover when we fix that but we want to make it a thin enough coat so that we don't cover up any of the details in these walls Alright, so that'll look like that. Alright, so that's that. Uh, yeah, so we're looking pretty good there. Um, so the next thing to do now is all the ground cover to cover all the brown. We're going to cover that with dirt and then some grass. Uh, we'll finish that up with this video. Okay, so let's. Um, Let's start with the glue. Let's start in this area here. Just using straight white glue. I'm not going to mess around with anything, anything different. Now I'll just take a bristle brush, another one, same as the one I used on the, on the, to put the glue down, and I'm just going to brush this dirt around wherever it looks like it's not. So now the tops of these rocks, some of the rock I want it to look exposed, and some of it I want to cover with dirt. That one there, I want to want to keep some of that exposed. Top of this one, we'll cover with dirt. Alright, so now we're going to move the loose dirt off of where it, was, where it fell down here so we can get the glue in there and not have a lot of dirt in the way. So there you go. Now you get an idea of where the rocks are going and how we look here. Get a full view of it. There you go. 
and that's what we end up with. Now we're going to do a little bit of grass, but before we can put the grass on there, we need to wet this down to give it something to stick to. So I have what's called wet water, and it's just plain water in a spray bottle, and I add a couple drops of um, dish detergent to it, and that allows the, uh, the glue to seep into the into the ground foam. So let's wet this all down and that'll also bring the glue that we just put down on the dirt, it'll bring it up into the dirt or up through the dirt higher up than it was. And that'll really lock it all down. Now, we're not going to get crazy with it, but we're going to cover it up some. Okay, so there we go with that. Now we're going to hit it with a different color. So that's pretty much done. I'm going to wet this down again and then we're going to put some scenic cement and that'll be that'll be it. So now we're going to do some scenic cement just to lock everything down for the last time. Now I used to buy the wooden, Woodland Scenic Scenic Cement, but that ended up being kind of expensive. So I took the bottle that was left over when I emptied it and I filled it with white glue and then I dilute it. It's um, diluted pretty heavy and I used one of these pipettes to drop the glue in there and if you watch it it kind of spreads out and goes where it's going to go All right, <clears throat> all right. So that's it. I'm gonna call this done for now. Uh, the next thing would be to uh, put trees and shrubs and things like that in there. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now. But there it is, tunnel complete. Now the next thing I want to do is we're gonna we're gonna take this right here, this portal. And we're going to weather that a little bit. I'm just going to use a little bit of chalk. I was going to pull out the airbrush and all for it, but, I, you know, I, I think we're good. Just a little bit of chalk, some dark blacks and grays. We can weather that up a little bit on both ends. We'll call that done. Um, so there you go. Well, let me move down to the other end. All right, and here we go from the other end. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, there you are, and it blends right into that last mountain over there. So anyway, that's the whole thing. Not too bad at all. If you put it in with the mountains, 
And then once we do the tree plantings and all, uh, that'll look pretty good. Uh, it'll push those mountains back and bring everything forward. I think we're looking pretty good. So that's it for this project. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you watched it all. If not, come back and watch watch the rest of them. See how we got this built. Uh, visit my website, uh, mikestrains.wordpress.com, for photos and other things that you know you might not have seen yet. Uh, and stay tuned for the next project. Uh, thanks for watching, and go watch the rest of my videos. Uh, until next time, goodbye.